A gallon of gas now costs about as much as a gallon of milk in San Antonio, with the average price topping off at about $3.66, expected to go even higher this summer. But what if there was a way to cut your cost by as much as 50% and it was as simple as turning on your kitchen faucet? Tonight, the I-Team's Barry Davis looks at hydrogen fuel. Is it hype or hope? Well, Chris and Sarah, I think everybody involved with this certainly hopes it's not hype, especially when you take into consideration super unleaded is already selling at almost four bucks a gallon. I don't like it. It's too high. Unless you're driving a hybrid vehicle, chances are you're spending almost twice as much on gas as you were just two years ago. The price should be lower, I can tell you that. But there is a system in development that could dramatically raise your miles per gallon. However, some scientists say it doesn't wash. You can't get something for nothing. And starting with water is a very difficult way to get energy. It sounds almost futuristic, taking water from your faucet, putting it into a device under your car's hood, and driving away. We tested several vehicles in New Jersey last month, and the numbers were like fiction, you know, 80 miles per gallon with a four-cylinder Honda, 80 miles per gallon with four-cylinder Ford Focus. That device is a hydrogen generator. This system doesn't do anything more than help stretch the gasoline dollar by converting water with a chemical, which is potassium hydroxide, mixed up in, in a special proportion, and then it makes hydrogen and oxygen that the engine then uses as a fuel. The gas goes off into the engine through this feed. Steve Gerline has been a professional mechanic for more than 30 years. He was so intrigued by what he read about hydrogen generators assisting gasoline engines, he put one on his wife's Lexus. We know that it works on my wife's truck for about a 40% increase in gas mileage without the computerization. Gerline says the Lexus running on super unleaded gets about 14 miles per gallon. With the hydrogen generator running, about 19. With the computer tweaked to accept the extra fuel, Gerline says the truck gets 23.4 miles per gallon. The technology to produce hydrogen gas is actually about 100 years old. Through electrolysis, you separate the two molecules of hydrogen from the one molecule of oxygen in H2O, water. The relatively new use is burning the elements separately to supplement gasoline. The work that I do is concentrating on hydrogen use in more traditional engines like we drive every day. Dr. Charlie Roberts with the Southwest Research Institute has been working on hydrogen as a fuel for years. He says as a single fuel source, hydrogen is too expensive, but used in addition to gasoline, it does have promise. If you use small amounts of hydrogen, there's a chance, and I think this is what many of us are looking towards for the future. Steve Gerline believes that future is literally days away. We're driving around in Gerline's Lexus 470 SUV with the hydrogen generator on, just doing normal driving, starting, stopping, even reaching speeds of 50, 60 miles an hour. I can't tell any difference in the way the engine's run. All your liability is is you have to clean this canister out probably once every six months, and you may have to clean the actual uh, electrolysis producing cell out maybe once a year. You also have to add very inexpensive chemicals with the water to create the hydrogen gas. There are plants for hydrogen generators all over the internet. Gerline says 98% of them, though, won't produce enough hydrogen to help much. And none of them come with a computer to help today's cars read and understand the additional source of fuel, except the one he's researching, which is why it costs $1,500 to buy and have installed. But if you're driving from Pipe Creek to San Antonio every day, and you can make it run at double the, the gas mileage for $1,500. Our research says that after 11,000 miles, the system's paid for itself, and the system runs an indefinite period of time. There could be a couple of other benefits, too. Gerline says burning hydrogen also cleans out the engine and has less toxic emissions. Robert says that is possible, but it's also possible it could burn worse. And as far as Gerline's miles per gallon claims... Today, just putting a device onto the engine without changing the engine in a more drastic way, about 5% fuel economy improvement is, is the best that I would expect. My mom and daddy told me when I was a kid, if something was too good to be true, don't believe it. Yeah, but you know what? Americans won World War II uh, with people that invented things as they needed them at that time. We've been to the moon. We've been in the space race leaders for years. Our aircraft are the best there is because Americans 
will find a way around a bad situation. And there's a lot of folks working on this right now, and somebody's going to pop, pop the right unit out into the populace to do exactly what we're talking about today. Now, before you start mixing this with this, hit the brakes. That's not really the way it works. The gas still goes in the gas tank. The water goes under the hood in the reservoir on the hydrogen generator. That's this device right here. Now, keep in mind, this is all still being researched. It's under experimentation. In fact, one of these units is at the Southwest Research Institute right now. And Gerline says if and when they tell him it's the real deal, maybe it won't be too long before you can have one under your hood. With the I-Team, Barry Davis, Kins 5, Eyewitness News.